Deep in the countryside in southern Germany is the Sonnenpark, a settlement of biosolar houses. These are highly energy efficient houses designed to be powered almost entirely by the sun. This concept was developed in the 1990s by an engineer called Klaus Becher, who wanted to design a place where he could live cheaply and not rely on increasingly expensive fossil fuels to keep them warm in the winter and cool in the summer. The design that Klaus Becher came up with is a house within a house. The inner house is highly insulated, but it is breathable because it is made of natural materials. The outer house envelops the entire structure and gathers energy from the sun, just like a greenhouse. This creates a warm environment for the inner house to sit in. The combination of the breathable inner house and the warm environment created by the outer house means that moisture created by people inside can escape freely without the house becoming cold. While the outer house envelops the entire structure, the most obvious part of it is the winter garden. And this you can see here, the glazed structure at the front. This is the main solar collector for the house. And it is also a lovely place to relax in the evening. Each winter garden has a biomass stove which both warms the place, but also heats water. Water is an excellent heat store. Therefore, these houses store their energy with a very large water tank of over a thousand liters. That water is heated up both by photovoltaic cells, solar thermal collectors in the roof, and also the biomass boiler in the winter garden. In this example house, you can see the biomass boiler in the winter garden followed by various heating connections. Behind is a 1,200 litre water tank. After that, the wall is cut away to reveal the piping for their wall-based heating system. From then on, a thermostat system individually regulates the temperature of each room. Therefore, no energy is wasted keeping a living space warmer than it needs to be. For example, a lot of people like to have their bedroom a bit cooler to sleep better. And on the other hand, they might want the bathroom the warmest place in the house so that they can walk around comfortably. To the modern eye, some of the earlier houses in this development from the 90s look quite radical. For example, these ones with their rather upturned hull appearance. Over the years, however, they've made various refinements, both to the appearance, some of them looking still quite vernacular, but also quite modern, for example, the one in the distance over there. But also they're now making more use of timber frame rather than metalwork, which is obviously much lower carbon construction. These houses are certainly increasingly fitting into this beautiful landscape with a traditional village down below. This site, high on a hill, makes use of a whole variety of natural energy resources. For example, there's the rainwater collection pool behind me, which can supply grey water for uses such as flushing toilets. Meanwhile, there's both small-scale and large-scale wind turbines. And also, the sighting on a south-facing slope means that there's excellent exposure to sunlight, both for electricity generation and also direct water heating. Also in the Sonnenpark is an education centre this is a space for people who would like to build a bar solar house to learn how the buildings work and how to put them together. The house within a house design of bio solar house allows for extensive use of low carbon materials, creating a breathable structure that I found a lot more comfortable than most modern energy efficient builds that rely on air tightness and mechanical ventilation and heat recovery technology. This is the most beautiful place, surrounded by stunning hills and a lot of nature. And these houses sit very well in this place. The whole other side is that these houses really do not feel like you're making compromises to live in a low impact way. These houses are places of utter comfort, but also great beauty.